Joe Biggs is a military veteran who has served several tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. Here he gives his analysis of the crime scene of Stephen Paddock's room in the Mandalay Bay Hotel and why it had to have been tampered with. What's going on everybody? I'm stuck in a... Uh stuck in traffic in Austin, so I'm literally moving like one mile an hour. Um, but there's a picture that shows Stephen Paddock laying on his back, his toes up, after he apparently shot himself in the face, more than likely with a handgun. But you see a rifle on a bipod perfectly over his left foot. Now, if you've ever shot guns before, especially guns on a bipod, they easily knock over. I mean, I knock over guns all the time. You, you, you barely nudge it, and it'll tip over. I mean, that's just, it happens. I mean, if you've ever been to the range and shot a gun on a bipod, um, those things easily tip over. But for somehow, for some reason, this guy was able to shoot himself in the, in the face and fall back perfectly without twitching or moving his feet and didn't even knock over that gun on a bipod that you see in that picture. That's very odd. So to me, that tells me that that gun was placed there, which says that the crime scene has been tampered with. Now, like I've said before, I'm not very much a uh, conspiracy theorist, but this, uh, this shit's a bit shady. I mean, you can even look at people on the left and the right, and a lot of people are questioning this. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, there's a lot of science to this that doesn't add up. Now they're saying, they're saying that the, the weapons as well were equipped with this bump stop thing or whatever to help shoot the uh, semi-automatic gun at a fire rate of a fully automatic. But the thing is, though, is if you shoot a bump stop, you can't keep a perfect cycle rate like you could a belt-fed gun like a 240 Bravo or a 249 Saw. Those guns are going to be... <coughs> but if you use a bump stop, it's going to be... Because it's never going to have an actual fully automatic uh, feel to it. There's going to be things that happen. Your hand's going to move. It's not going to bump off your shoulder right. And that gun's not going to have a steady stream of constant automatic fire. That is impossible. The, the bump stop thing was uh, created to be a gimmick. It was never actually meant to be a mainstream market use uh, um, accessory um, for, uh, for for shooters. You know, it's just uh, some bullshit fucking thing uh, that, that somehow got thrown into the market and it's like a gimmick thing. Like, no one out there that actually shoots takes that thing seriously and even uses them. You know? So, this whole thing, and, then, and if the gun was on a bipod and he's doing that, the gun would rattle and fall off from the bipod. I mean, it, that just shows right there that those things aren't sturdy. So, I'm going to try to get one and do a video to show you guys just how fucking you can't even have a cycle rate to, to mimic what it would be on a 249 saw or a 240 Bravo. Um, you know, they found explosives, they found all this stuff, where did it come from? This guy's wiring $100,000 to the Philippines, um, you know, at first they're coming out saying, oh, it's one shooter, now they think there could be more, now he could be radicalized, um, there's a lot of weird shit going on, and, uh, the science of the whole thing isn't adding up, at all. If you've ever shot guns, if you've ever been around these types of things, and you've been to the range with a bipod, and you, you've shot one of these things... You just know when you smell bullshit, and this is complete and total bullshit. So, I just wanted to give you guys uh, an update on that, uh, in case some of you haven't thought about that or didn't know that. But it's definitely shady, the shit that I'm 